By the time I was 12, I'd been in five foster homes. And when I finally thought I'd found a family of my own, I went and messed it all up. I was always trouble for somebody from the very beginning. I want you to think of this as a brand new start. You're turning over a new leaf, Hollis Woods. She's a very nice woman. Plus, she's an art teacher. Mr. Regan wanted you to keep up your art. I don't care. Well, I suggest you start. I'm a social worker, not a magician. We're running out of options for you, you know? You need to make this work. Hollis Woods. Hollis, this is Ms. Kale. Hello, Hollis. I don't bite Hollis, I promise. I don't, but he does. <laughs> You'll have to excuse him. He's got very bad manners, haven't you, Henry? Out you go. Josie, it's good to see you. It's been a long time. It has. We so appreciate what you're doing. It's my pleasure. Won't you come in for some tea or coffee, lemonade? No, I'll just let Hollis get settled in. I'm settled. Oh, so she does have a voice after all. Oh, she has a voice all right. Now I'll come pick you up on Monday, take you to school. Get you introduced to all the kids around here. You and Miss Kale, take care. Call me if there's any problems. Oh, there won't be. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> I've taken care of quite a few girls for Edna over the years. You can call me Josie. My last name is spelled C-A-H-I-L-L, -L, but it's pronounced Kale like the vegetable. What should I call you, Holly or Hollis? Not Holly. Oh, well then, Hollis. Just drop your bag anywhere. This is my place. I've lived here since they invented the spoon. Who invented the spoon? I don't know. The knife and fork people, I guess. This is my studio. Are these real people? Some of them. What about her? That's my cousin Beatrice. I'd make one of you, you know. We'd have to find the right piece of wood first. It all starts with the wood. Oh, let's see. Oh, this might do. Mm, maybe not. How about this? No. You know, these carvings take a long time. I can't start one unless you decide to stay. I tell you what, if you'll stay, I'll see to it that Henry here it's on his best behavior. You hear that, Henry? We're putting it all on you. If you were a naughty kitty, young Hollis here just might skedaddle out the front door. What was I doing? The right piece of wood? Yes. It all starts with the wood. Here it is. I found the perfect piece. If that doesn't have Hollis Woods written all over it, I don't know what does. Oh, that is just right. You mind setting the table? The placemats are in that top drawer. Okay. I hope you're gonna stay a while. Some of my girls have stayed for years. 
That little girl? She stayed the longest. I still get letters from her. What's her name? I'm terrible with names. It says to Josie, love Jenny. Guess that's it then. You all settled in? Oh, did you draw those? Edna told me you were an artist. Who's that? Nobody. I like to paint the ocean and the flowers I grow. What do you like to draw? Things that happen. Well, maybe you'll show me sometime. Here's some towels, and uh, if you need anything, I'm right down the hall. Good night. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't bring myself to tell Josie about that drawing or what happened earlier that summer. Oh, Edna. <laughs> Well, our little girl here is ready for her big adventure. Well, hi, Hollis. Have a wonderful summer. Get on the bus. Did you see that? She's having a tough time. You're gonna have a great summer. Let me guess. She doesn't want me back. I'll find you another place in September. Look, Hollis, this family is willing to take you on for a few months and give you an experience you've never had before. Out in the country. Yeah, out in the boonies. Just try to enjoy it. Try to make the most of it. Just try, Hollis. Who's here to meet you? Hey, Hollis? Are you Hollis? Yeah. Hi. I'm Isabella Regan, but everybody calls me Izzy. Hi, and I'm John. So happy to meet you. Are you here to sign for her? I'll sign it. She's our summer kid. I think we need an adult. Yeah, an adult. Picture ID, please. Thank you. Just sign there. Yeah, you're like an overnight package. Steven. And this impolite young man is our son, Steven. Hi. There you go, miss. Take care. Thank you. Well, welcome to Hancock. Oh, our car's just over here. Where's your luggage? This is it. Oh, great. Well, uh, then we're all set. Let's go. She offered to take her bag. I can carry it. See? She can carry it. Otherwise, I would have offered. Hey, how about I drive? Huh. Yeah, how would you get no. it back? What? I already drive the truck. Yeah, you're learning and only in the cabin. Come on, Dad. In, in, Stephen, in. So this is just our summer home, Hollis. It's nothing fancy or anything. Yeah, nothing fancy. Like nothing at all. I didn't know what you like to eat, so I have um, turkey, ham, or peanut butter. Any of those sound good? Turkey's okay. Great. Sold. 
You know, we might as well break it to her dad. It's not like she won't find out. No TV, no DVDs, no video games, and no internet. Not even dial-up, because there's not a phone. It's a break from distractions and stress. And we love it, Hoss, and we hope you do too. <laughs> what, Steven? <laughs> Don't worry, we're gonna have a wonderful summer. River Hollis. It's my favorite sound in the world to go to sleep to. This is the old folks. Um, I'm up in the loft. And... And this is you. My mom's going through a green face. It used to be blue. It was gonna be my brother's room. What happened to him? He died. Oh. Last year. He was a baby. Steven, your dad needs a hand unloading. Ah, uh, Mom. Tough life, kid. Don't forget to bring in your books. I won't. I think Steven's excited to have a new friend for the summer. We usually send him part of the time to camp, but um, we want the whole family to be together this year. We've never done this before, toasted a, a child. So anything you need, anything, you just ask, okay? We really want you to enjoy your stay here, Hollis. Adults are always hopeful about new beginnings. Time to go, Hollis. I'm coming. Later that year, Josie was hopeful too. But not me. Morning, Linda. Edna. Edna. Good morning. Oh, hold your horses. Hollis. I packed you a lunch. There. Have a fun day at school. Yeah, like that'll happen. Anything could happen. We could win a million dollars. Or get hit by an asteroid. Well, let's hope for the million dollars. Everything's all set. You're in. They don't want me here. Yes, they do. Come on. Your homeroom is 113. I know. You've done the new school routine about a hundred times. Okay, what's your bus route home? Number seven. I get off at Roland Road. The bus lady's Mrs. Puzo. I'm not an idiot. No one has ever accused you of that. Hollis, if you want friends, you have to make friends. What's the point? I probably won't even be here in a month. We have a new student joining us today. Please, stand up and tell the class your name. Don't be shy. My name's Hollis. Hollis Woods. <laughs> Hollywood. <laughs> no. Hollis Woods. Hollis Woods. All right, all right, all right. Settle down. Hollis, is there anything about yourself you'd like to share with the class? No, ma'am. Oh, I'm sure there's something. When did your family first move here? They didn't. I'm just visiting. It says here that you're enrolled for the year. Uh, 
Are they traveling? No. They're not traveling? No. <laughs> all right. Well, regardless, we're all very happy to meet you. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, Josie. Do you have anything hidden away that I can take for lunch? Not a can of soup. Cream of, um, what is it, those little uh, brown things? Cream of mushrooms? That's it. I don't like that stuff. I told you that, like a week ago. Have you been here a week already? Well, I am flattered. Henry, are you flattered? What should we do to celebrate? Oh, I know. I'm gonna take you to one of my favorite places. What time is it? 8.30, good. The light will be perfect. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is it a school day? No. No, there's no school today. There's a, um, there's a teacher's conference. Oh, good. You better bundle up, because we're taking the silver bullet. Cousin Beatrice. That's our movie theater. You like the movies? We get in free. <laughs> Joseph, oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> Go around. Another car's on the road, lady. Seatbelt. Good idea. I should have warned you next time I will. Next time you won't have to. Stick around, I'll teach you to drive. I like the river. Well, there's saltwater people and there's freshwater people. And there are people who don't like either one. <laughs> but they're not us. You weren't born here? No. Nope. I moved here to live with my cousin B when I was about your age. You'll meet her one of these days. When you do, you better keep your hands in your pocket. Why? <laughs> You know what she did the first time I met her? She said, if we're gonna share a room, you're either gonna be my immortal enemy or my best friend. Which is it gonna be? Then she grabbed my finger, stuck it with a pen, and made me a blood sister. <laughs> Crazy B. Why did you have to live with her anyway? My parents died. I had nowhere else to go. You have a wonderful eye. You have a wonderful eye. <laughs> we have four wonderful eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Ms. Hornsby, 
Please excuse Hollis from being absent from school yesterday. Hollis had a severe rash. We learned that she's allergic to tomatoes. Pity, she really enjoys them. Yours sincerely, Miss Josie Kale. This penmanship is excellent. Did you know that Miss Kale taught here for many years? Here? And for someone who could draw so beautifully, her handwriting was awful. Oh. Take this to the principal's office. Please <laughs> try. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> no way! Oh, yes. In any case, that dog <laughs> right up the tree. <laughs> You're gonna make milk come out of my nose. Oh, I hate when that happens. <laughs> You're, You're making my arms so long. Giving arms. Arms of generosity. Oh, I'll get that. Kale's residence. Hollis? Hollis, is that you? Oh, um, hi, Edna. Not at school. <clears throat> no, but I am sick. Um, go get the bed. All right. Drink lots of liquids and yeah. rest. I will, I promise. Let me talk to Joe. <clears throat> Actually, she's kind of, <coughs> she's kind of busy right now. But, uh, I'll tell her to call you back. Make sure you tell her Who was that? Wrong number. Oh. Um, I think we're good on candy. Oh, okay. Tomato soup. Our cart's full of soup. What we don't have is milk, sandwich stuff, and food for Henry. Oh, good thinking. Okay. I'll get the bread and the cat food. You get the milk. Okay. Done. where anyone could take it. The milk's back there. Oh, the milk. I swear they move things around so much here, I can't find anything. How long does this have to last us? Oh, a couple of weeks, I guess. I think we ought to budget. I had one of those when I was little. Bright green and yellow. Flew out the window one day. Never saw it again. Budgies. Hate to be kept in cages. I said budget. Budget as in planning how to spend your money. What's left of it anyway?
Josie, do I have a treat for you? We're going to the movies. What do we do for money? Uh, who needs money when you got Beatrice for our cousin? Says I'll leave. Well, you didn't say you'd stay. I'm thinking I should. Well, I better congratulate Henry then, hadn't I? Don't carry on. The future was starting to look bright again with Josie. If I could just stop thinking okay. about the past. What? That's three words. Is it a book? A song? I did this. Yeah, I know you did that. What's it supposed to it's be? A song. a song. Dad, this song. Okay, all right, guys, come on, just play the game. Hollis, do you want to play? No. She'd rather draw Dad making a total fool of himself. Right, he's up. This is supposed to be fun. First word. Oh yeah, Mom, this is so much fun. You're an ape. I don't, I don't. Sorry, I was just uh, I was clearing out your drawer so you can make yourself at home. It's okay. I like to keep my stuff together. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, I get it. Night. You have a lovely way about you, Hollis. I'm glad you're here. Night. Morning, Hollis. Wow, that's really good. Have you taken lessons? No. You mind if I? You have talent. Stop. Just showing Hollis. Showing off for Hollis, you mean. Mind the truck with you? No, but you're under 10 yards away. Doesn't matter if I'm 10 inches away. You don't drive unless I'm in the cab with you. Okay, I'll put it back. No, you won't put it back because that would be driving without me in the cab. Why don't you take Hollis fishing? She's been waiting. That's a great idea. Come on, Hollis. Come on. Okay. Almost fit you. Empty. Do that. Sunscreen. How about oxygen tanks? Uh huh. Did you get bug spray? Nope. Okay. Be careful. Here you go. Try not to move. These fish are super intelligent. I think they're mutants. Okay, you cast like this. Watch and listen. All right, you go. I got one! No way! Okay, come on, lift the rod up. Don't put it down. Come on, lift it up. Okay, don't jerk it. Easy now. Okay, keep the rod up. Oh, come on, don't drop the rod. Come on, keep it up. Don't drop the rod, keep it up. A little more, you got it. You got it. Okay, 
he got him the stuff. You know, I thought about letting you drown, but my parents would disown me. <laughs> Are you drilling that fish or smoking it, Dad? All this is the largest trout I've ever seen taken out of that river. I hate you already. This is fun, huh? Glad you came out into the country with us, Hollis. Don't worry, the mosquitoes. Dad will smoke them out. What's that? What? Dad, you see that? Fireflies? I've never seen fireflies before. Yep, the mosquitoes out here have headlights. Kids, we're yeah. reading Hollis. The Call of the Wild by Jack London. Hey, that's a good book. But uh, isn't that on your reading list? Um, yeah, but I'm reading some other book. Huh. What? Okay. Uh, well, we're gonna get some groceries. Hollis, anything special you want? Well, while we're gone, why don't you read that other book? Okay, okay. Bye, kid. I didn't mean to get you in trouble. Oh, it's okay. But hey, now that they're gone, come on. Third, put in third. Where's the third? Third. Give it some gas. Stop! <laughs> there are some people who live life with a sense of fun and adventure, like Stephen. Later that fall, when Josie took me to meet Bee for the first time, I found another. Well, look who's here! Hollis, this is Beatrice Gilchrist, my cousin and best lifelong friend. Not counting Henry, of course. <laughs> Josie's told me all about you. You are quite the artist, I hear. I'm coming over and seeing your work before I leave town. Oh, you're not leaving for ages. Beatrice is going to New Mexico. She's going to paint the desert. Lucky thing. Just take your pick of seats, ladies. School nights are always slow. Thanks. Uh, ladies, I'll take your tickets right over here. Popcorn, ladies? Oh, yes. It's a special recipe we dreamed up years ago. Fresh butter with, uh... Parsley and chives. <sighs> I used to sell popcorn here on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Help Beatrice run the place. Did you get to watch the movies? Well, of course she watched the movies. You think I paid her? <laughs> Excuse me, while I start the projector. Crazy bee. Oh, Adam, that dreams so hard. Poor little heart of yours. Beatrice lives upstairs. It's like a bowling alley up there. Can you imagine? <laughs>
it smells so good. I hope you're not cooking because Beatrice is bringing dinner. It's those, uh, oh, you know, those little, uh, oh, what is it? <laughs> Shoot. It's, uh, delicious. <laughs> you know, those little, uh, pasta, <laughs> pizza. <laughs> Sounds like, I don't know, but it'll be delicious. There she is. Ah, supper's here. Chinese food. Of course. It's what we always have. The first time I ever laid eyes on me, she looked at me and said, if I have to share a room with you, you'll be my mortal enemy or my best friend. Which is it going to be? Oh, I did not. Oh, oh, Don't believe a word of this, Hollis. I was scared to death of you. She scared me to death. <laughs> I said... I'll be your friend. I'll be your friend. <laughs> and then she grabbed my finger and pricked me with a pen. Well, I was 14 and going through my dramatic stage. Then she <laughs> poked her own finger, pressed it to mine, and said, There, we're blood sisters from here on out. Well, it stuck, didn't it? It stuck all right. <laughs> Enough dilly dallying. I came here to see some art. Show her, Hollis. Josie, you lied to me. The girl is not good. <laughs> She's amazing. <laughs> This gesture here, revelation through a detail like that, that is the sign of an artist. Interesting choice. Well, this is my favorite. Of course. <laughs> oh. It's the door. Oh. Oh, wait, Josie, don't answer. Oh. Hello. Uh, hello. What a surprise. Oh, I bet it is. Hollis, is there any reason you aren't at school again? School? I guess we overslept. Oh. It's my fault. I kept her up late last night watching old movies. I thought it was your tomato allergy acting up. You poor thing. Why didn't you tell me? I've been feeding her tomatoes up to the eyebrows. You didn't even tell her I rang the other day either, did you? Can I make you some tea? No tea, thank you. You have two minutes to get dressed and ready for school. <laughs> Which is where she's supposed to be, Josie, every day unless she's got a legitimate excuse. These are envelopes. They are addressed to me. They don't need any postage. Every week, Hollis needs to give you a completed attendance card. And every week, you need to get those cards to me. Without fail. Oh, okay, without fail. Hurry. It's my fault. I told Josie it was a school holiday. Oh, oh I thought that was last week. Okay. Come on. I'm not sure this is working out. But I like it here. I'll go to school, every day. I'll get good grades. You'll see. Okay. Yes, we will.
You need to work on your spelling, Craig. Okay. You didn't read the assignment, did you? Well, I started to. And Hollis? Nice work. <laughs> If I really tried, I could make things work. It was such a cool feeling. I hadn't felt that way since summertime. Be careful climbing up. This is my favorite spot. Hmm. I wonder if I should give you half or you did all myself. You should give me the whole thing. I deserve it. That's what Dad would say. You guys fight a lot, huh? <laughs> yeah. He's getting worse. Doesn't want me to do anything on my own. Big or little? <laughs> Which end? That one. of some things of mine. Well, I want you to have it. Uh, Izzy? Yeah? I'm gonna go fix that old screen door. Aw, oh, you're my hero. Steven, why don't you come with me? Do I have to? Uh, come on, buddy. Let's go. Yet. Well, it's already beautiful. I've still got a lot to do. Never had so many colors to work with. You know, my mother gave me that drawing kit for my 10th birthday. I could draw killer spaceships. But never people. Beautiful. With Stephen and Mr. Regan, I never knew what to expect. Months later, the same was true with Josie and B. Oh, honey! B! <laughs> Josie, I need your mega size suitcase. I sat on mine, tried to force it, broke the zipper. Oh, no! <laughs> um, Hollis! Uh, could you get the suitcase? Where is it? Ah. Uh, is it in the closet? Oh. <laughs> Holy cow, Josie. You need to clean this out. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Where are you off to? Are you kidding? Mexico to paint the desert. We've been talking about it for ages. Oh, right. Are you all right? I'm fine. 
Josie, if you're not all right, I'll postpone. Beatrice, I'm fine. You sure? Of course I'm sure. What more do you want me to say? Okay. You can always call me if there's a problem. Exactly. I'll write down my cell. Beatrice, I know your number. You've had the same one forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have fun. And say hello to George O'Keefe for me. Oh, you are all right, you silly thing. <laughs> of course I am. Just ask Henry. <laughs> call me if you need anything. We will. Hollis? Adios, amigas. <laughs> Crazy B. Cleaning the closet? Uh, can you help me uh, move this? Everything looks pretty good, Josie. I think you've done it. For now. I have an idea. How about we go to bed? Tuck you in. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. See you next year. Next year? Oh, yeah, next year. Merry Christmas. I was in school. I just got off the bus, you can check. Linda and I were just visiting over tea. Edna, and you'll never guess what I did. You know those forms I was supposed to mail to Edna? Well, I mailed the gas payment instead. Ever heard of anything so dumb? The gas company is probably reading your attendance record right now. That's not a big deal. It was just the wrong envelope that could happen to anyone. I know. I know. Hollis, Josie and I were just talking, and we both agree that maybe it's time for a change. What do you mean? Don't you want me anymore? Is Hollis leaving? That's what we were just talking about. I'd like to talk to Hollis outside for a moment. 
Josie, thanks again for the tea. It was delicious. Why didn't you tell me what was going on here? What? You know what I'm talking about. I'm not going. Hollis, Ms. Kale is supposed to be taking care of you. She is. She just forgets stuff sometimes. You don't know Josie. I've known her for 20 years. This is something more than just forgetfulness. She's a serious problem. It's only going to get worse, sweetie. Miss Kale cannot be responsible for you anymore. You finally found a place I like, and now you're just dragging me away. I'm not dragging you. You'll have time to say goodbye tonight. I'll come for you in the morning, okay? To go where? You'll go to the shelter until we can find you another placement. I am so sorry this didn't work out. I promise you can come and visit. I'll come and get you at nine in the morning. Have your backpack. Come on, get in the house. No. We have to get out of here. We have to pack. We have to go. With Henry? Yeah, with Henry. And I have food. And your toothbrush. And we've got to call B. This is an emergency. Call B. Josie. Josie, they're going to take me away. And I can't leave you alone. What's B's number? What's B's number? What is B's number? What's her number? Uh. go tomorrow? No. We have to go now. Get my pillow. There's your pillow. Okay, come on, let's go. What? We have to go now. We have to, we go. Have to go now. Uh, It'll be all right. Okay, let's go. the exit? What exit? For Route 17. Hang on, Josie. You can sleep all you want once we get there. There it is. Next right. Where are we going? 
cabin for Christmas. Oh, can't wait to see Beatrice. First time I laid eyes on her, I had to... You had to share a room with me. That's what happened. Somebody died and I had to share a room with me. She said, you're either going to be my best friend or a mortal enemy. And you chose friend. And she pricked her finger with a pen. And she did the same with yours. Pressed them together. Blood sisters. Crazy P. It seemed much easier to help Josie recall her memories than to think of my own. Hey. Can I help? Yeah. Want to drive? Thanks. You know, this was my mom's china. It's all cracked and chipped, but I love it anyway. You know, we had 12 of these plates when I was a kid. Down to five. Steve breaks things. <laughs> I was one of lots of kids. It's not gonna happen for us, so. I especially wanted it for Steven. It means a lot to us, you being here this summer. I love setting another place at our table. My dream of having a family was so clear that evening, but it had vanished by the night of that trip with Josie. Okay, we're all set. Wake up, Josie. Mm. Josie! Hey. Mm. Josie, we gotta go. We gotta go. We can't stay here. Josie? Josie, how do you turn on the headlights? I wasn't running away, more like running towards something, a safe place from my past. Steven, okay, it sounds angle, like angle, triangles, uh, Steven, how's your kid's ankle? Uh, 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 handcuffs, wow. uh, a bracelet? No, uh, a bangle, like a bangle. Like a bangle. Okay, a shirt that's got all the bangles. 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 bangles, dark bangle banner. Oh my god, <laughs> yes. Yes. No. you did not. How did you get that? Nice. nice. Finally. Wow. Okay, oh, who's next?
bed. We got a big day tomorrow. What's tomorrow? The forest march. Every year we climb the mountain all the way to the top. It's the end of the summer, pal. Steven, hey, why don't you take this for a while? What am I, a mule? Stubborn as. Here. Whoa! Are there bricks in here? A flashlight? It's, it's broad daylight, Dad. GPS? I mean, it's cool and all, but we're on the trail. Well, what if the fog rolls in? What if it starts to rain? You bring umbrellas, too? How about a pasta maker and a bread machine? Steven, you want to know why huh? we keep you on a short leash? <laughs> what? Because you think you're indestructible. I am indestructible. Ah, oh, give up. What is true? Hollis, come on. Come on, sweetie, we're almost there. I've never climbed this high before. I know. Oh. Views all right, I guess. Wonderful. Don't you think so, Hollis? I want to remember this forever. Holly, have you had fun here this summer? No, scratch that. <laughs> Holly, have you felt at home here this summer? It's been great. Thank you. And of course, this is the summer, it's the cabin. Circumstances are idyllic. Idyllic? All right, knock yeah. it off, buddy. Um, but, <clears throat> you know, it isn't always easy for families, far from it. There's, in life, lots of stresses and strains. I think, um, I think what John's trying to say is that we really enjoyed having you here this summer, Hollis, and, and um, we hope you've enjoyed it too, but all families have... It's okay. I knew this was just for the summer. No, 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 sweetie, that's, that's not what we're trying to say at all. It's okay, what they're trying to get at is they want to adopt you. Steven. Um, we want you to live with us. I mean, maybe it's better to say we, we want you in our family. I mean, we think of you as part of our family already. And we want to make it official. We love you, Holly. I knew there would be crying. So, <clears throat> what do you say? We'll say yes already. We have cake and ice cream. Come over here. Well, sis. When people say they feel like they're floating, I know what they mean. That's the way I felt that day. Now it was only a memory. Josie, we're here now. Oh. Okay. Oh. Come on. Man, are you? Uh. Come on.
Where's B? She's my best lifelong friend, you know. Not counting Henry. <laughs> Not counting Henry. You hear that, Henry? When's B coming with supper? I'm I'm hungry. She should be here. I'm looking for something for us to eat right now. How old were we? Josie, there's no food here. <laughs> Those are wading boots. These? Those are for fishing. They're not for walking. I think they're very stylish. <laughs> Abominable snowman. <laughs> I'm going to catch us a fish. You like fish. Goldfish? I had one in a bowl. I think. But I couldn't trust Henry. To eat, I mean, for us. I'd never eat a goldfish. Stay here. Please. thinking, if only I had gone fishing with Stephen that day. So, come with me. Well, you like hiking, so come with me. Oh, yeah, an hour of walking followed by a day of watching you draw. It's our last day. I've got stuff to finish. Okay, be that way. So I guess this, this is goodbye? Well, shut up. Okay, whatever you do, be back by three. Folks are taking us into civilization. If I'm late, just come pick me up. <laughs> yeah, right.
hide. Do you know what time it is? Is it late? Sorry, I was drawing the valley for Izzy. Kissing up already. Get in. Whatever you do, don't tell Dad about the truck, okay? He'll freak. I was always told I brought trouble to the people around me. The way that summer ended had finally made me believe it. One more time, I was responsible for losing everything that meant the most to me. Responsible for messing things up. Again. Stephen. Stephen Regan? How is he? It's going to be OK, honey. Just relax. OK, I need to take some deep breaths. He's got a full CT with contacts. Steven, how are you feeling, huh? Where is he? Um, I'm just keeping a real close eye on him. Please tell Mr. Regan not to be mad at him. It wasn't his fault, it was mine. It was all because of me. I was late. I told him to bring the truck. Nobody, nobody's blaming anybody, okay? Nobody. Look, you, you lay your head back down. You try to get some rest, all right? You're okay. I just found this. I'll go check with security. Mr. and Mrs. Regan, I'm sorry Stephen was hurt so badly. I don't think I should stay with you anymore. Thank you. I'm sorry for messing up your family. I don't want to love anybody anymore. 
and I don't want anybody to love me. Yours sincerely, Hollis Woods. Every time I see her, she asks about your son. Hannah so clearly belongs in your family, but I gotta warn you, she's on the run emotionally, and I've had a hard time reaching her. Holly? Mr. Regan drove all the way from Hancock to see you. <sighs> Stephen is coming home soon. It's gonna be okay. And he and Izzy send their love. Oh, and they brought you something that's yours. It's your pictures and your pencils. Look, Hollis, I need you to understand something. No one blames you for what happened, okay? You're part of our family, and we love you. You see? You see that? That's where you belong. We want you to come back home. I think I'll stay here. What, what is going on in your mind, Holly? Believe me, whatever it is, we can all work through it together. Love you, Holly. I don't know what to say. Well, will you stay in touch with us and let us know how she's doing? Yeah. Maybe uh, she'll change her mind. sympathy for you, Hollis Woods. I realize that you have had some hard knocks early on, but I am going to tell you the truth, my dear. Are you listening? You're a coward. When things aren't perfect, you run. Where did you get the idea that families are supposed to be perfect? That's real. I'm going to tell you something that I do know, and trust me, I know it for sure. You gotta take a chance, Hollis. You gotta be willing to risk. Don't think that I don't see you. I know you. I have known you a long time. I know that you try to play it safe. If you don't risk anything, you won't lose anything. Look at me. Hollis, here's the hard fact. Every one of us will eventually lose everyone we love. So there's no time to waste. Edna was right. I had lost the Regans. That day in the woods, I didn't want to lose Josie, too. Look! I found us a Christmas tree. Let's go decorate it. This goes on top. Oh, 
Look at this. Ugly, isn't it? <laughs> well, I like. Holly for my Hollis. You know how I got my name? It's... It's a... A real place. In Queens. That's where they found me. Just an hour old. And look at you now. Oh, oh. Sit down and close your eyes. Close them. No <laughs> peeking. <laughs> okay. Okay. from Santa. Oh. It's beautiful. She has your long, giving arms and your beautiful wild hair. Do you think she looks like you? She's not as tough. Wish you could see yourself the way I do. Oh, you close your eyes now. Oh. Closed. Okay. Open. You and B. You've made us look so young and glamorous. Oh, I miss B. I know. Do you remember sex for me? I forget things, Hollis. Sometimes things seem so clear, and then... I'm scared. I've never been sick a day in my life. You're not sick. Everyone forgets stuff sometimes. It's more than forgetting. I don't think I can take care of you anymore. But I love you. I love you too. But I need to go home. The river's nice, but... Go home tomorrow. Ready to go? Almost. Josie? What? Did you... Did you board that up? No. That was... Uh, that was a friend. What friend? Oh, you just missed him. Oh. Uh, oh, he... He left... He left you some. Candy bar. Stop! Why are you running away? 
Why didn't you let me know you were here? I didn't want to scare you off. Last time you saw Dad, you told him to take a flying hike. I messed up everything. For you and Izzy and John. Hollis, you were so thick sometimes. How did you know I was here? Miss Riley called us. Edna? She said you were a missing person. She was hoping we'd know where you were. I told Dad you'd be right here at the cabin. Did he listen? No. He went to Long Island with Edna to find you. Edna and John are out looking for me. I miss you, Holly. I missed you, too. I missed all of you. Well, then, can we let the folks know what's going on? Are you ready for this? She's gonna freak. Hello? Hey, Mom, it's me. Can you drive out to the cabin right the away? Cabin. What's going on at the cabin? Are you okay? No, no, Mom, Mom. I'm fine. Is the cabin okay? Yes, the cabin's fine, too. So is Hollis. Oh, my gosh! Hollis, you're with Hollis? Is she okay? <laughs> Sorry, I know I should have asked for no, 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 no. It's okay. Everything's okay now. Is it all right if I come home? Are you kidding me? Of course you're coming home. I'd like you to meet my best friend. Okay. She's inside. <laughs> right. So you're gonna be here, and Hollis, and who else? Um, Stephen. My husband, John, I told you about John. Edna, you know Edna. So we'll all be here together, and uh, it should be lovely. That's right, we'll have a little party. <laughs> I don't know why we don't do this more often. Will you come to our house? Ms. Riley and Dad are here. Oh, great, that's my husband. I told you about Edna. Oh, yes, and Edna. something I want to say to Edna. Okay. Thank you. been my buddy for a long time. Oh, it's a nice fire, Dad. Your eyes match. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <clears throat> hey, could you make one of me? Oh, well, these things take time, you know. I love this tree. <laughs> so good. Cool. Cool. Um, really okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Whoa, it even has it's a backpack on it. It's awesome. Hello? Hey, it's Josie Blair. Yes, she is right here. They both are, and they're fine. Good. May I talk to her? Josie, I have someone here who wants to talk to you. Oh, thank you. Hello? The whole world's been looking for you. Beatrice, where are you? I'm on my way. And I think it's time we live together again, <laughs> like we did when we were kids. <gasps> that sounds nice. Only this time, we each get our own room. Crazy B. Who's with you now? Oh, I'm with Hollis and, uh, let's see, uh... Oh, I don't know, B, but they seem like very nice people. How's your Christmas? Oh, we had a good Christmas. But Henry and I are ready to come home now. Well, I can't wait. I'll see you tonight. Okay, B. Goodbye. <laughs> it's Beatrice. Was it? <laughs> that was Beatrice. Josie went home to B. And I went home with the Regans. It was a very Merry Christmas. I have a new last name now. Hollis Woods Regan. 
I love the sound of it. I still visit Josie Kale. She doesn't exactly remember who I am, but sometimes I see recognition in her eyes. Hollis, she says, you saved my life. And I always tell her, it was the other way around.